Cascade control. Supply upsets refers to disturbances or changes in the supply conditions that can affect the process controlled by a cascade control system. Understanding and managing these upsets are critical for maintaining stable operation. Supply Upset Summary Supply Upset Summary A brief overview of the impact of supply upsets on cascade control systems, including typical responses and adjustments needed to maintain control performance during such disturbances. Simplified Block Diagrams of Cascade Simplified Block Diagrams Visual Representations of Cascade Control Systems Illustrating the Relationship Between Primary and Secondary Loops These diagrams help in understanding the basic structure and interaction of components in a cascade control setup. Properties of the Secondary Loop Secondary loop properties, characteristics of the secondary loop in a cascade control system, including its role in regulating intermediate variables to achieve desired set points in the primary loop. Key properties include response time, control actions, and interaction with the primary loop. Summary of results and considerations. Results and considerations summary, a summary of the outcomes and key factors to consider when implementing cascade control. This includes performance benefits, typical challenges, and considerations for optimizing cascade control systems. Advantages of Cascade Cascade Advantages Benefits of using cascade control systems such as improved response times, reduced process variations, and enhanced stability. Cascade control allows for more precise regulation of complex processes by controlling intermediate variables. Limitations of Cascade Cascade Limitations Drawbacks and limitations of cascade control systems, including potential complexity, increased tuning requirements, and the need for accurate secondary loop control. Understanding these limitations helps in designing and implementing effective cascade control strategies. This section provides a comprehensive overview of cascade control, including its structure, advantages, limitations, and considerations for managing supply upsets and tuning the system effectively. Specific Cascade Applications Valve Positioner A common application in cascade control where a positioner acts as a high-gain proportional controller. The positioner helps eliminate valve hysteresis, ensuring precise control by accurately positioning the valve based on the controller's output. Liquid Flow or Liquid Pressure on Valve Position Cascade Liquid Flow Pressure Cascade Application of cascade control involving liquid flow or pressure loops with a valve positioner as the secondary loop. This setup helps manage fast processes by ensuring the valve responds accurately to flow or pressure changes. Limit cycling. Limit cycling, a phenomenon where the controlled variable oscillates with a constant amplitude, often caused by hysteresis or deadband. Recognizing limit cycles helps in diagnosing and correcting tuning issues to achieve stable control. Temperature on flow cascade control. Temperature on flow cascade. Cascade control application where temperature control is achieved by manipulating the flow of a heating or cooling medium. This setup is effective for processes requiring precise temperature regulation, such as heat exchangers. Temperature on temperature cascade control of an exothermic reactor. Temperature on temperature cascade a specialized application in exothermic reactors where the temperature of the reactor is controlled by adjusting the temperature of the jacket. This method ensures stable reactor temperature by managing the cooling medium's temperature. Flow as the inner loop. Flow as inner loop, using flow control as the secondary loop in cascade systems. This approach benefits from the fast response of flow loops, providing stability and improved control in primary processes. Level on flow, valve positioner cascade, level on flow cascade. Application of cascade control for liquid level regulation using a valve positioner as the secondary loop. This method is effective for maintaining precise level control in processes with frequent supply or demand variations. Integral wind up preventing measures in cascaded loops. Wind up or saturation. Wind up saturation occurs when the controller output exceeds its limits, causing the integral term to continue accumulating error even when the actuator is saturated. This leads to loss of control and instability in the system. 
Wind up prevention measures. Wind up prevention. Techniques to prevent integral wind up, such as placing the controller in manual mode, using batch controllers, implementing external feedback, and applying digital algorithms. These measures ensure the controller remains effective within its operational range. Causes of wind up and cascade. Causes of wind up. Situations that lead to wind up and cascade systems, such as breaks in the cascade loop or manual operation of the secondary controller. Identifying and mitigating these causes is essential for maintaining stable control. External feedback to prevent wind up and cascade. External feedback, a method to prevent wind up by providing an external feedback signal to the integral term of the controller. This ensures the controller output remains within its operational limits, preventing saturation and maintaining control stability. These sections provide detailed information on specific applications of cascade control and measures to prevent integral wind up, ensuring effective and stable control in various industrial processes. Tuning cascade loops to specific performance criteria. Order of start the sequence for initiating and tuning cascade control loops. The secondary loop should be tuned first before integrating it with the primary loop. This ensures the secondary loop is stable and responsive before it affects the primary control loop. Common cascade pairs. Common cascade pairs, typical pairings of primary and secondary loops in cascade control systems, such as temperature control with flow as the secondary loop or level control with valve position as the secondary loop. These pairs leverage the strengths of each loop to achieve optimal control. General tuning considerations. General tuning considerations. Guidelines for selecting and tuning control modes in cascade systems. Secondary loops are often tuned using proportional or proportional plus integral control modes, while primary loops typically use PI or PID controllers. The tuning process aims to achieve a balance between responsiveness and stability. Improve performance over a feedback loop. Improve performance. Cascade control systems often outperform single feedback loops by providing faster response times and reducing integrated absolute error, IAE. The secondary loop quickly corrects disturbances, preventing them from affecting the primary loop and improving overall control accuracy and efficiency. This section outlines the procedures and considerations for effectively tuning cascade control loops to achieve specific performance criteria, ensuring stable and optimal operation in various industrial processes.